Scotland hasn't seen since the beginning of the war. The sinking of the Simon Bolivar, Holland's 8,000 ton liner, has shocked a world already schooled to expect illegal and brutal acts by Germany. Following the crime comes news of other such sinkings, four other neutral ships, including one Italian, having been sent to the bottom by Nazi mines placed in the way of merchant traffic without notification. And here are some of the 262 known survivors from the Simon Bolivar arriving in London after their terrible ordeal. There are nearly 50 British people among them, but the majority are foreign, and they have to stay in the hotel for the time being. Miss June Trestrail is British. She was on her way home to Trinidad. So too was Cyril Gomez. Police guard the entrance to the hotel, and the Dutch minister is there to interview his countrymen. Young Sally Marriott was on her way from Surrey to the West Indies. Other survivors, passengers and crew form a group for our cameraman. Here are four British passengers, two of them policemen from Trinidad and one a civil servant from British Guiana. The chief engineer of the Simon Bolivar is in hospital. All these people have harrowing stories to tell of this new Nazi crime. Mr. Jensen, for instance. We were swimming along, swimming along, I don't know how long, full of oil, till we reached a boat. It was the Troll Man of War, if I'm not wrong. They took us very nice, my boy and I, but I lost sight of my wife. You lost your little girl, didn't you, Mr. Jensen? Yes, I lost my girl, and I don't know where she is. They were good to you on the ship, were they? Oh, they were so marvelous. They were fine. Oh, those sailors, they were nice. They were so good. They gave us everything they had, the clothes, cigarettes, even drinks they gave us. They were marvelous. And in the hospital, they are also good for us. They have done everything that is possible for us. In hospital on the East Coast is Miss Floy Cohen, who is on her way to Valparaiso to be married. A large piece of glass was extracted from her neck. But more pitiable still, imagine the ordeal of baby Willem Wentzfurt, aged seven months. His mother was fortunately saved. But baby Albert Wensing has been orphaned in this appalling cry. Poor kid, 18 months old, his mother drowned by this despicable act of Hitlerism. Saddest of all, a piccaninny of six months. Parents not found, and in fact not even known. And now for the brighter side of life in the B.E. 